Let me ask you about this um, uh, airstrike in Yemen, which appears to have um, killed dozens of children. Um, the Saudis, <clears throat> obviously, are um, the ones who conducted this, but they do that with weapons supplied by the U.S., with training supplied by the U.S., and with uh, targeting information, targeting um, data supplied by the U.S. How, how can something like this happen? How can something like that report happen? Well, yeah. I, I think we would start yeah, by saying... Uh, yeah, how can situations like this happen? You know, we don't have the full details about what happened on the ground. We've certainly seen the news reports of what has been reported happened, okay? I can't confirm all the details because we are not there on the ground. Uh, we can say that we're certainly concerned about these reports that uh, resulted, that there was a, um, an attack um, that resulted in the deaths of civilians. Uh, we call on the Saudi-led coalition to conduct a thorough and transparent investigation into the incident. We take all credible accounts of civilian casualties very seriously. Uh, we call on the parties to take appropriate measures to protect civilians in accordance with international law and urge all parties to investigate all reported is incidents of civilian casualties. Okay. Well, they say already the coalition mm -hmm. says that they acted in accordance with international law. But if you look at the photographs, the video that come from the scene, it doesn't look like that's a really uh, – that, that's a credible answer. So are you um, – are you okay with the coalition on its own doing investigation, or would you like to see some kind of an international component to it? Or well, an I think I just I think I just answered that, and we said that we would call upon the Saudi government so to do a, a a full and thorough so investigation, as we always do, and we call upon all parties in any kind of situation like this to take uh, appropriate measures to try to mitigate the risk okay. of civilian so casualties. DoD and other entities put out reports on this after the fact as they all start to investigate. Um, and so we will look forward to any information right, on that. But my question is, you don't you, you don't see a need for there to be something other than a, a coalition investigation. You uh, don't see a need for an independent. Matt, I'm not going to get ahead. This is something that is fresh um, that just happened. Um, so I'm not going to get ahead of any kind of investigation that may take place. It's okay. only the latest in a huge number yeah. of civilians killed during these operations, though. I would, um, I would encourage you to take a look, and that is, uh, we regret any loss of civilian life. That is something that the United States government, in particular, uh, anytime you talk to the Department of Defense about uh, civilian casualties, they will say the same thing. Well, that hold, I'm not finished, mm -hmm. okay? And they will say the exact same thing, that all parties take very strong um, responsibility and measures to try to protect against the loss of civilian life. As we have seen, and you all very rarely ask about the issue that has been unfolding um, and, and the devastation that has taken place in Yemen, uh, let's look at some of the things that have been happening in Yemen. You have the Houthi rebels who continue to attack Saudi Arabia. They continue to do that with uh, Iranian weapons, missiles, and rockets. Um, they continue to try to attack uh, civilian infrastructure in Saudi Arabia, for example, and that is part of the reason why these actions are being taken. Let me go back and remind you what I just said a moment ago, and that is we call for an investigation, and we anticipate that a thorough investigation will be done. I don't have anything more for you on that. The Secretary isn't planning on having a conversation. With I don't have any information for you on that. Okay. Is, Hi, Nick. Is this, hey, Heather. Is this latest incident or the previous incidents causing the U.S. to reevaluate in any way the role that it's uh, playing in the situation in terms of its relationship with Saudi Arabia? Look, we provide a tremendous amount of humanitarian assistance uh, in Yemen to try to support uh, civilians in Yemen and try to mitigate uh, against the, um, the devastation that's taken place there in that country. Yeah. I don't have anything more for you on that. But you also supply a tremendous amount of weaponry and the data for targeting to the Saudis. Well, then, sorry. Right? No? no? Am I wrong? No. Is that wrong? Sorry, uh, these ladies over here are laughing. Um, on that, I would refer you to the Department of Defense uh, that is involved with that. But you, as you know, Saudi Arabia is an important strategic partner in the region to the United States.